A trial balance is simply a list of all of our accounts from the general ledger and their balances. We add up our debits, we add up our credits, and hopefully we find that those two then are equal. So with the trial balance, we are trying to make sure that my debits and credits equal. Now the trial balance is not an official financial statement. We don't publish it, put it out there for the world to see. Instead, it is a tool to help us in getting ready to prepare our financial statements. We, do, we don't do this every day. Like journal entries get recorded every day, right? We post every day. This is done at the end of the accounting period before we go to prepare our financial statements because we need to see if our accounts balance. If they don't balance, if my trial balance doesn't balance, guess what would happen when I went to prepare the financial statements? By the time I got to the balance sheet, guess what? It would not balance. So if we have a problem, we want to know it now before we move on to the official um, financial statements. So to just kind of recap the accounting cycle, this is, little graph is not on your, on your handout, but, but um, just look up here for a minute. First off, things happen. The first place we record them is in the general journal, good. From the general journal, we take them and post them where? To the general ledger. And at the end of the period, we list all of our accounts from the ledger. We make a list to make sure the debits and credits are equal, and we call that the trial balance. Once we have the trial balance prepared and we're ensured that everything is in balance, then we can go in and do our financial statements. Okay, so the trial balance, how do we prepare it? We go to the general ledger, we list each account, and we list its ending balance. If it's a debit, we put it in the left column. If it's a credit, we put it in the right column. And then we add them up. That's called footing. If you add up a column of numbers, we add them up. And then we compare the two totals. Hopefully we find that the dollar amount of my debits and the dollar amount of my credits then is equal. What if it doesn't balance? What if it doesn't balance? The total of your debits and your total of your credits doesn't equal. Well, first off, just check your math. You could have added wrong, subtracted wrong, easy to do. Secondly, if, see if your difference is evenly divisible by two. For example, if I took a $100 debit and I accidentally put it in the credit column, that would throw me off not by 100, but by 200. If I have a difference of 200 divided by two, go looking for that number. All right, see if you put something in the wrong column then. Next, check and see if your difference is divisible by nine. If so, you might have made what's called a transposition error or a slide error. Anybody know what a transposition error is? It's flip-flopping the digits. Maybe you meant to write down 23 and you wrote down 32. For some reason, that just makes no sense in the world to me. Those are always divisible by nine. So instead of writing down 350, you write down 530. Let me mention what a slide error is. A slide error is a misplaced decimal. So for example, instead of writing down 20, you write down 200 or vice versa. Those, a difference of 180, that's always divisible by 9 also. That doesn't pinpoint where your difference is, but it tells you, ooh, maybe I need to go back and look at those numbers very carefully because it's easy to flip-flop the digits then. What if the trial balance does balance? Hooray, that's a good sign. Does it guarantee that everything is correct? No. Actually not. For example, what if I forgot to post a transaction? I didn't post the debit and I didn't post the credit. Would my trial balance still balance? No. Yeah. What if I posted an entry twice? Posted the debit twice and posted the credit twice. Would I still balance? Yes. Yeah. What if I had an entry that debited cash, but I accidentally posted it as a debit to accounts receivable? Would I still balance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a debit. I posted it as a debit just to the wrong account. So just because I balance doesn't guarantee that I made no mistakes. If I don't balance, it's guaranteed that I have a mistake there. Let's take a minute right now. I want you to go to page 27 of your handout. And here's what I want you to do. By each account that's listed right here, I want you to write down two things. First off, what type of account it is. If it's an asset, put an A, liability L, capital C, dividends B, revenue E, expense E. And after that, I want you to put either a D or C as to whether that is a debit balance or a credit balance. So let's do the first one together. Accounts payable is what type of an account? A liability, very good. The normal balance in a liability is a? Credit, good. So you'll see beside mine right here, I just have an L and then I have a C. All right, so let's run down your list and do that on the ones that you have there, please, that remain. Because we need to know the account types first before we can um, put them in the right place in the trial balance. How about accounts receivable? What type is it? Asset. And the normal balance in an asset is a? Debit, very good. Building is what type? Asset. Normal balance is a? Debit, good. Cash is what type? Asset. Normal balance is a? Debit, good. Capital stock is what type? Capital, normal balance is a? Credit. Dividends is what type? Dividends, normal balance is a? Debit, good. 
Dividends, debit, DD, capital credit, CC. What type of an account is fees earned? Revenue. Excellent, excellent. Your revenue, normal balance in revenue is a? Credit. Credit, good. What is the key word right there to tell you revenue? Earned. Earned, good. Insurance expense is what type? Expense. expense. Normal balance is a? Debit. Debit, good. Interest earned? Revenue. revenue. Normal balance is a? Credit, Credit. good. Notes payable, liability, normal balance is a credit. Office supplies is what? Asset, normal balance is a debit. Salaries expense is what type? Expense, normal balance is a debit. And retained earnings is what type? Capital, normal balance is a credit. Good. All right, the next thing we're going to do is to prepare our trial balance. Now, remember, our accounts have to go in a particular order. All lawyers can dodge rotten eggs. A says what group of accounts comes first? Assets. assets. Now, I want you to go back and look and tell me what sort of assets did you see on that page? Okay, building good. What else? Cash. What else? Accounts receivable. Office supplies. Okay, so we have four assets. For right now, I told you which one has to come first. Cash. All right, so let's go list these in the trial balance. Cash will be the first one that we list. We're going to put the amount in the left column and the debits. And for right now, that's all I'm concerned about you getting in a certain order, putting cash first. Notice I don't actually write the word asset on here. Okay, don't actually write the word asset on here at all. All right, what comes after assets? Liabilities. Well, let's look back and tell me what sort of liability accounts do you see? Notes payable and accounts payable very good so we have two liabilities it really doesn't matter to me which one you list next honestly because i found different books do it differently but both of those are credits so the amount's going to go in the right column all right after liabilities all lawyers can what comes next yeah. capital good and right after capital comes what dividends capital and dividends right can dodge see so under capital what sort of accounts did i have that are capital capital stock good and retained earnings very good those are the only two and then right after that we're going to list my dividends retained earnings and capital stock they have a credit balance whereas dividends has a debit balance you always list the capital stock before the retained earnings all right all lawyers can dodge rotten are what comes next Revenues. revenues what sort of revenues do we have good we had fees earned and interest earned remember there are three words that tell us something's a revenue revenue income, income and earned good and again i don't really care what order you put these in i believe your book will put them more just the smallest those are credits so we're going to put them in the right column all lawyers can dodge rotten eggs. What comes last? Expenses. What sort of expense accounts do we have? Insurance and salaries. Good. Again, I'm not really picky on the order. Your book will list these largest to smallest, but they always will put miscellaneous last. And then we're going to stop and add them up. It's the moment of truth. Pull out our calculator. We're going to add up the debits. We're going to add up the credits. Hopefully, we will find that the amount of my debits equals the amount of my credits. That's a good sign. And you ought to get 1870 for both your debits and your credits. What if it didn't balance? Tell me this. What if that credit to interest earned, I accidentally put it in the debit column. <coughs> what would that make my debits be, what, 1970 And my credits be 1770 that's a difference of 200. 200 divided by 2 is 100. Go looking for that 100 somewhere. See if I posted it incorrectly or put it on the trial balance incorrectly. How about if instead of the 430 for salaries expense, I accidentally wrote down 340? Well, the difference between 430 and 340 is 90. 90 is divisible by 9. That doesn't tell you where the error is, but it tells you, hey, maybe you flip-flop the digits somewhere.